The sun is shining bright at seven in the morning. So right now, guys, we're gonna go down to the lobby and get some coffee. My name is Saj the Boss, if you don't know who I am already. I am vlogging my wonderful trip to Naples, Florida. And this is the last video in this series. So please give a like, leave a comment, and let me know what you think about this video series. And hopefully you enjoy today. Guys, even though I'm an Ohio man, I love trying different foods. This is beginner day with a taste of Floridian breakfast. Available at 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. I gotta check this out, guys. Here is my wonderful medium cappuccino in this lime color green. Almost reminds me of the Tampa Bay double raised colors. So technically raised up in Florida and also the golf colors. So I'm gonna go on a little walk with my parents and then uh, show you what I got for breakfast. And we made it to Publix, ladies and gentlemen, the greatest grocery store on the planet. Store Publix subs. Looking delicious. I found a, I found a new burning passion to get safe dessert at Publix. Look at these slices of cake, ladies and gentlemen. I got cookie pies and all kinds of goodies over here. Can't wait to try this sometime. Shout out to everyone who stocked this area. You did amazing. I'm so proud of you guys. I love how beautiful this looks. I, even though I work, I happen to work in a grocery store myself. This is just awesome. <laughs> Don't touch me guys in the comments, but I'm a huge Annie's Mac and Cheese man. And I found out they did Disney ones with Woody's hat and Hiana's crown. I gotta get these one day. If I find these in my store, Breakfast I'm time. Looking super good. I got fruit. Pancakes, and I'm starving. We'll have a late lunch later. Trunks on and uh, heading out to the pool this morning, and then I'm watching Secret Invasion uh, until I get sunscreen on. So I'm uh, on the way to look like Lord Baelish from uh, Game of Thrones now. I'm wearing a uh, robe again. I'm in the robe. <laughs> I look like a Jedi Knight or a Samurai Warrior. I don't know. One of the two. So I'm going to talk to you just a little bit. I'm going to inform you guys the day is going very strong. I absolutely love uh, it here at the Ritz. Uh, they have the nicest uh, robes uh, possible. Like, they're very comfortable. Um, I feel like a samurai. I just love looking like Lord Baelish. <laughs> when Game of Thrones, the spider. Um, not Littlefinger, the spider. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, the bald guy. So, I, 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 the day I wanted to me, it's going super well. Um, I had a nice breakfast. I got a chicken quesadilla today for lunch. I absolutely adored um, that taste of that quesadilla. I thought it was very nice and charming. I just can't wait to see what they uh, do next with the resort. Um, uh, I think tomorrow we're going to the beach resort. I'm not going to film it because um, I'm taking the day off from filming. This is like the last uh, video of the series. And yeah, it's going amazing. I also got to confirm that uh, I love what happened in Game of Thrones lately too. So with all my Game of Thrones talk, I don't know, I'm just really into fantasy. I just feel like I'm just into fantasy. I'm just very relaxed. I happen to normally do about two hours of the pool. I typically do that just because... One, it's easier on the body. Two, as an adult, it's tiring to swim all the time. But also, it's hot out here. It's hotter than an inferno. Um, I don't know. But I feel like it just, I feel like just relaxing to come up and be do some downtime on my own. So I'm gonna do my downtime. I may pick up the camera in a little bit to showcase uh, pool action a little bit later today. So right for right now, I'm um, gonna relax. The greatest character in the history of Game of Thrones. Tyrion. Yeah, I just love Game of Thrones, guys. Also, another thing I really hate, ladies and gentlemen, is when I go uh, watch MLB, I always watch um, the ratings. I love the Tampa Bay Rays, like I said in my previous video. I can't watch them here in Florida because it's a local. I found the local uh, CB stations would have it, but they don't have the Rays game uh, local, which is annoying. I'm in Florida. I have the MLB app. I want to watch the game. I can never watch the game, which is really annoying. But at home, I can watch the game all the time. It's really yeah, cool. You hear that sound? It is thunder. It is raining very hard in Florida. It is wicked out there. I think every afternoon just pours, pours, pours on us every day. Gnarly. Just listen to the sounds of the rain shower. It is a wicked storm brewing once more. This is probably the series of three storms I heard this year, this is probably one of the loudest cracks of thunder I ever heard. And the and it just keeps on just heading down and down. Ladies and gentlemen, and let's go play this game time. Let's begin the party. FYI guys, we've played this game with young kids. Uh, these balls are actually fiberglass. So just be very mindful of uh, where these guys go. Because as long as I hit it like a baseball swing, just be very careful. 
Um, I learned the kind of the easy way to play kind of like a hockey stick or a baseball swing. Um, but these are the remaining balls I have. And I think pool is just really relaxing. Put on my music and just uh, hit balls. <laughs> a lot of fun, guys. So I'm gonna do that and pick up the camera when there I get I there. Am. Let's do it. Do it. <laughs> Execute on oh, <I'm> 66. <laughs> do it. <laughs> Yeah, it's a nice peaceful room. Uh, it really reminds me a lot of a lounge. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and Rays fans are like raise up. And also, I won pool. I am the king of the pool table, eh? I did my tea time. Yes, I did again. Yes, I don't know why I'm talking like this today, but I surely am. I got all the balls in the holes. Yeah, I may. Blind <laughs> man. Yeah, but that guy just was saying he's an old fashioned guy. He just ruined the pool table. Yeah, I think pool's just a lot of fun to play with around here. There's so much moving parts about the game. And I just feel like I'm an old prospector. Back in the olden days, pool was popular. Let me run back. <laughs> yes, that was from the old man. Yeah, it's still raining, guys. It's still raining. These palm trees look kind of sweet, though. I don't understand why it's so raining on a day like this. Weird. A little bit later tonight, guys. I'm hoping to check on the Rays score, um, but I love the Tampa Bay Rays. I'm going to uh, eat a Publix cake later tonight. Yeah, we're off to supper, guys. I'm wearing my dinosaur shirt tonight. And then later tonight, we're going to try our Publix cake. I'm very excited for it. First time having a Publix dessert at Publix. Um, I can't wait to eat it in public, which is kind of funny. Um, but also, I just have to say, um, we're going to a Mediterranean restaurant tonight. I'm really excited for it because I love um, the Greek foods, uh, foods from Greece and uh, Mediterranean uh, seas, different things like that. It's something I just really appreciate. And I'm starving. And I love that. And also, you guys, we just made it to our destination for our supper tonight. Uh, this place is actually home to a badass coffee shop. It's called Bad A Coffee. Uh, or I call it Badass Coffee. Um, it's also down here as well, and a paper company, not Dunder Mifflin. So we're here at Metatronos, uh, but they have some supper, a showcase the food. It's a beautiful night here, cloudy, um, and partly sunny out here. Beautiful day. And also, shops, folks, I love my own gift shops, right? All kinds of little many planters, which is really cool to see all the flowers. Everywhere. The fish of the day, ladies and gentlemen, looks super fresh, and I can't wait to eat it. Tell you guys, I had to mention I got the three tail uh, snapper, well, three tail fish. Uh, which is a three red tail fish, um, which is a really nice uh, Mediterranean dish with a lot of flavor. Uh, it comes with green beans, um, it comes with risotto. It was a really nice fish. Easily one of the most um, precious uh, cuts of fish I ever had. So I really enjoyed it. Easily probably the best fish I ever tasted in, in my entire life. So we gotta tell you, Mediterranean. Hey right, guys, just got back from dinner and we're about to have some Publix cake. I got a Publix, about to review it for you right now. It's heat lightning and get the best, any one of the best. It may not look cakes. as much right now, ladies and gentlemen. This is actually the Publix cake in a Publix grocery bag. Um, really reminds me of Fresh Times, another grocery store I love. Um, or Whole Foods, almost, if these plastic bags. Let's, get to, let's go Here's get what up. I'm dealing with today. This is the chocolate uh, cake with buttercream. Um, I'm a huge vanilla icing guy. Um, I got this to try this out. It was too vanilla-y. I might scrape out the cake part and just eat the meat out of it. But it looked refreshing, guys. I'm excited to try it out. It could be like an Oreo. Who knows? I'm excited. I usually eat cake uh, donuts with uh, vanilla icing sometimes. Um, I'm gonna give you a full verdict. I'm very excited. This is a, this is literally, what do you think this is? I can't wait to try it out. And here's what we're dealing with, ladies and gentlemen. This is the cake, all in its goriness. It is delicious, guys. Usually the best chocolate cake I've ever had. Super moist. Does taste like exactly from a bakery. This is what cake should be like. Amazing job, Publix. Great okay, job. guys. So. Uh, I just had the Publix cake. I don't believe vanilla icing on the cakes. This is probably the first occurrence I actually had a real buttercream vanilla frosted cake in a long time. I actually thoroughly enjoyed that. Um, I eat vanilla icing a monetization. I'm not a huge fan on it just because the color just really throws me off. And I think all foods should be natural colors. Um, but I give like cake an easily uh, like 20 out of 10. It was so good. Probably the best chocolate cake I've ever had. Either 100 out of 10. Um, if you guys are really looking forward to getting a cake, go to Publix, get a cake slice. Um, the way it recommended, it goes from uh, it really it goes from Whole Foods, it goes to Costco, so to Publix, 
then Costco, and then Whole Foods for desserts. So Publix is always number one for desserts. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, please leave, uh, leave a like, leave a comment on today's vlog. I think this vlog ended in a piece of cake. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you want to see more vlogs in the future, let me know. Um, I know this is sad to end of the video series here, but I am really much appreciated on um, how everyone's doing. So thank you guys.